lap. And with these drivers pitting here prior to the end of the stage, we would anticipate at the end of stage two, they will all stay out and won't make another pit stop till we get well into that final stage. Front row for the restart with six to go. All Geyer, Austin Hill. We're rolling again at Texas. Well, that's a good side-by-side -side restart here. We've seen the inside lane really have control in the turn one. Austin Hill does a good job keeping the side-by-side. Yeah, this is the cleanest air Austin Hill's had. If he can hang on this right rear, which looks like the seventh car is going to get clear, this is the best Austin Hill has been to start the run track position-wise as he gets pushed by the 98 and clear in front of the double zero in the second. Teammates side by side for third. 98 is hurt. Double zero. Oh, right Look at Oh, in the defense. Slight save. He does slap the wall, and he's going in the wrong direction. If there's a car in NASCAR that I want to hit the wall in, it is in the Xfinity car, but that was a solid hit as he's up out oh, of the he's group definitely now. definitely some problems now. Doesn't look like he likes what he feels here. Uh, unfortunate for that 20 team that has really performed at a high level lately. Last two weeks, top two, three stage wins. Eric Amarola got the win overall at Martinsville. Nemechek won in this car at Las Vegas. Here's what happened coming off of turn four. It just gets a, a little bit high. You can see the car wiggling. He's kind of right on that edge and just jumped up into that that we talk about a little bit too high and boom in the defense yeah there's a really big bump over there right in that area hard to tell here Sheldon Creed has a big moment saves it as yeah, teammate it's... Chandler Smith bails out and uh, wow I cannot believe they saved that but I you just... can see it right there when when Chandler Smith was coming off the high side in turn two you can see the dust behind his car that's why it's so slick when you get up there but these guys are racing with four laps to go in the stage everyone is ultra aggressive pressuring them and I'm not sure Chandler Smith even has his tires clean yet. Uh, no, that, that looked really tight. You see Matt DiBenedetto there in the 38. Uh, gain on him through three and four as we take a look back into turn one. See Sheldon Creed down here at the bottom of the 18. Sammy Smith really close. Didn't touch him, but that put Chandler Smith in the worst spot of everybody. Sheldon Creed also losing spots. Now Chandler Smith's tires are dirty. He's fighting off Daniel Dye. What is it with the Gibbs cars today? You had Taylor Gray with a big save. Truex goes wide. Now Chandler Smith. They've been in the middle of the mess on multiple occasions today. You popped da pop Daniel Dye. He had the early problem, but he's come back to run inside the top 20. Two to go. Second stage. All Geyer. 1.3 seconds in front of the duo from Stuart Haas, Custer and Herbst. Brandon Jones up to fourth, and Hill has fallen back to fifth since the restart. Yeah, and we saw this out of Austin earlier. Not a lot of fire off speed. Unfortunately, was in third, back to fifth with Ryan Sieg now in position to pass him down here on the front stretch. Uh, not the fire off and not what you need on the final lap of stage two. Sieg goes by. Sammy Smith, maybe. Yes, there goes Sieg. Sammy Smith hanging out right behind him as well. That's a good run for Ryan Sieg. Obviously, a lot of speed in that car today, able to, you know, legit run up in the top five right now. How good is Justin Allgaier? And this is going to be the 11th time he's swept stages. He went on to win two of those events prior in his career. Allgaier today has led 61 laps, third time he's pulled off the sweep here at Texas. Custer, Herbst, Jones, Ryan Sieg, the top five. Sammy Smith gets points in sixth. Hill, his teammate Jesse Love, seventh and eighth. All but the 